Howdy folks. Let's go over the second part of the configuration file, the hooks. WebDriver IO provides a good amount of hooks that allow us to do different things before, during, and after our tests are running. First thing we can do is the on prepare. The on prepare hook gets executed pretty much before everything. Um, this is a good place to, to maybe start up um, browser drivers. Like if you want to, if you're dynamically starting drivers like Chrome driver or Gecko driver, the on prepare hook is where you'd want to set that up. You have access to the config data and all the capabilities. Um, so this, this, gets hap this gets done before everything happens. Uh, before session, this gets ran before a new browser session starts. So maybe you have a spec file, and what that spec file does is cause a new browser session to start. So this, this gets executed before that session starts, and you have access to config, the capabilities, and the specs that are going to run. All right. Now we have the before hook. The before hook, as you've seen already probably, we've used that. Let's go to our config file here. Uh, this gets executed before, before the tests start. And this is a good place to add like custom commands, things like that. Or if you wanna register um, more, more functions, like sometimes like uh, with, with Chai, what I'll do is like global, is equal to the um, the chai, like how we've imported it before. So we can have that. So then, so then we would have, we could just use expect. So instead of having to do this, we, we could just, we could actually just comment this out and we'd have access to expect in here. So we would have access to this and we wouldn't have to import every time. So that's what before before does. Uh, all right, next is before suite. What this happens is this gets executed before a describe block in Mocha or Jasmine. So let's go to this form authentication test. So what happens is it gets executed before this happens, the, this describe. And sometimes you can actually have, you can have multiple describes nested. So it would make more sense if you had nested maybe, I don't know. Kind of up to you on what you want to do with these. WebDriver just um, provides these and you can do whatever you need to do with these. So let's do that. So now we just have a nested describe block. So, so that hook would get executed before here and before here. And with that, we also have, there's a before hook. There's also a, there's an after suite as well, which essentially is the same thing. It's just after, it's gonna be after the describe. So right here and right here. Let's see, so we've got that. You have access to what suite it is. Then you have a before hook and an after hook. What the before hook and after hook does is those gets executed before any of, of these, like the before each or the before. You've seen before, we've had the before. And we've also had the after. So the before each and the befores get executed here. So you can get data here or do different things. And then you have the after each as well, which would be the after hook. I'm not sure exactly what you want to do in there. It's, it's going to be up to you and what your needs are. Do that. Uh, then you have before test and after test. So the before test is going to be ran before the it. So th this, this will get executed or yeah, the before test here gets executed before the actual test happens. 
So before the it is executed and you have access to what test that is. Next, you have the before command and after command. What that does is these get executed before and after each command that is ran. Um, so that's essentially this command here. We're calling username .add value. So the before is called right before this happens and the after is right after. So you could almost like, if you wanted to set up a logging system for some reason, um, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's what you would wanna do here, but the before command and after command will, will literally do actions after every single web driver command. So it, so it happened here, it'll happen here, on the click, on the wait for displayed, it'll happen on all of those. Some people have used that to, I don't know, take screenshots, but that's very, very slow. So you don't want to do that. Um, I've seen people do it with highlighting the element that is being executed every time. So you could do that. Um, you would actually use browser.execute probably. So you can access raw JavaScript to manipulate the actual page. Um, what's that? And then see after test, that's after the it. After suite is after the describe. After is after all of the tests have, have ran. So you have access to like the, the data of what how, how many tests passed, how many failed. So after is gonna be after this whole, whole, whole block is done. Uh, you have access to the specs that ran, how many failures, how many passed. Actually, it doesn't tell you how many failures it passed. It just tells you if it passed it or not. Um, after session, which is after the, the session is done, so after the spec file is done. On complete, that's a good place to shut down dri uh, browser drivers. Um, so say you started up Chrome driver or Gecko driver, you can shut down that process in the on complete. And you have access to the config and all of that as well. On error, this gets happened on any error. So you can maybe take a screenshot, like the you know, docs say exactly here. Take a screenshot. And that's basically it. Then you have some cucumber specific hooks. Uh, what I went over were mainly Jasmine and Mocha. I'm not going to go over the cucumber specific, but you can see what they have here.